What is up everyone? In this video, I want to take you on my journey to basically create one of, basically create the fastest actor engine uh, in Golang. And uh, basically, uh, what is important if you want to create something that's very fast is measuring, right? If you don't measure your stuff, if you don't measure your logic, you don't know where the bottlenecks and the troubles are coming from, right? Uh, but before I'm going to dig in my code and uh, because I spotted something we can improve, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that, how we can detect that and how to do that. But first of all, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comment and jump into my Discord community. And for the people that really, really wanna level up and wanna see how I built these, uh, this framework and other stuff, um, how I uh, work in Golang myself, you can go to my Patreon, where all these videos are available, uh, exclusive stuff that it, that is not on YouTube. All right, so let's get started. So basically, uh, I'm making Hollywood. Hollywood is basically an actor framework uh, written in Golang. And uh, let me show you something real quick. Uh, yes. So we have something, uh, what is called the engine, uh, which is the heart of the runtime. It's not a runtime, but hey, whatever. Uh, let me let me live in my fantasy. So basically, we have this, right? Let me use my mouse for once in a while. Uh, that's no problem. We have this benchmark sent message local. And if I run this benchmark, it will basically um, tell me, it's basically sending messages to processes, right? So in actor model is you have all these processes and they're sending messages to each other. And um, sent uh, message local is basically how we send local messages on the same system, right? That needs to be super fast. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, we have here uh, a very a very nice benchmark, right? We have zero allocations, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to run it again. <clears throat> you can see it's around 200 uh, nanoseconds per operation, null allocations. Uh, we don't perfectly fine. That's what you want to see. But there is also something that is called benchmark sent with sender, right? And I'm going to show you these functions, uh, what they do. So basically, you can send a message to a process. Man, I'm getting cold or something. You can send a message to a process, which is very simple, is fire and forget, but you could also send a message with a sender. That basically means that if you send a message message from inside of a process already, um, we are using, the context is basically um, sending with the sender. So it's basically grabbing your PIT, your process ID, and also send it with a message so the receiver from that message, message knows who is sending the message. That's, that's basically simple as that. And if we run this uh, benchmark, uh, we can see that we have, uh, it's a little bit slower, right? Uh, and we do some allocations, we have one allocation here. And I don't want an allocation. So if we don't benchmark this in the first place, you will never know, right? So let me open up engine real quick to see what's the culprit here, right? So let us uh, search for sent. Uh, sent with sender. This is request. That's not, not what we need. Sent with sender is this one. This is sent, right? So basically, uh, if we send, we just check if it's a local message. This, basically, this is the, the logic. If it's a remote, we're going to send it over the wire with proto buffer and all that shenanigans. That's not the case. We are testing the local stuff. So we just take the PIT, we send local with this PIT and this message. If we follow this function, we check the process and we send it. All good. Zero allocations because process also don't allocate anything. All right. So it's all fine. But if we check send with sender, you can already see, right? Look at this. We're basically allocating a new with sender struct. Uh, that a, a tuple, basically, it's a tuple, it's a struct, but it's a tuple that basically uh, tuples the sender and the message together. And then we send this message, um, we send this message message to the same function, and we're going to send it locally, and the process is going to send. And if we follow the process, then we're going to see that it basically checks here. Uh, if we have a with sender, we're going to basically add the sender to the context. And if we not, we don't. So, if we open up engine, let's kill this thing here. Um, am I getting sick? What's going on? Oh, uh, wait, wait, spawn. Where is this, this stuff? The font is so huge, like it is. So, with sender here, if I basically comment this out, and I'm gonna use the message, basically pipe the message uh, directly through. Let's open up an engine test on the other side. 
And what's going on? I'm getting a message, a very important message, by the way. And I need to solve real quick. No, it's fine. So benchmark sent with sender message local. Yes, this one. So if we, yes, if we run this again, then we're going to see that we have zero allocations and we are faster. Yes, but the problem is it's going to fail, right? Because we don't have a sender. So all my tests are basically going to fail. And um, that's not the case. So we need to fix this. How, how can we fix that? Basically, we can do that by... Um, let me first actually get... Check out... Minus B. Um, zero alloc... With sender. <laughs> Look at this beautiful branch name. <laughs> My PM will be bad. The, will be mad. Problem is I don't have a PM, so I don't give a fuck how things are named, right? I'm gonna drink coffee also, wasting your time. Because I can. All right. Um, send with sender. So basically, uh, we need a sender, right? We need a sender. Let me close all this other stuff because it's so huge here. So, yes. What we're gonna do, I think, is instead of calling send heat, because we also have a local, a local send, a private send is this one, right? Um, I'm thinking actually because this is a private, this is a public thing, so we don't want that. So what I think we need to do is basically make an uh, engine. We're gonna call this sent privately, like this. And it's gonna take in a pit, a pit, a message, uh, which is gonna be an any. And also we're gonna take in a sender, which will also be a pit. And that's always the case, because if you don't have a pit, if you don't have a sender, then we just do it, uh, we said it null. It's all good, right? So what needs to happen is that uh, we're gonna copy this shenanigans here, right? Um, That's perfectly fine. So that means that this guy doesn't need this. We can just return, no, not return. We can say e sent the private function with pit message and uh, the sender nil here, right? Because we have sent with sender and with sender will basically take this bit. So that means that we can say send like this and then we're gonna put in the sender here. Right, so this send with sender thing, he can go into the dumpster alongside with the raccoons. So that's that. That's fine. Of course, we're gonna have some issues for sure. Uh, no worries about that. So we sent uh, is fine. Send is the private one. Send local. Send local also needs the sender. Right, of course it's gonna it's gonna complain because we don't have that, it's no problem. You're gonna say that the sender is gonna be the spit. And then a proc send, that's the problem, right? The proc send is also going to need the sender. Isn't that amazing? But it basically means that we have a lot of shit to do. So basically the proc here, that basically means that this send function, this interface also needs a pit right here. And we need to satisfy. Look at these beautiful comments. Uh, shit. I knew there was a reason I'm using Witsender. I think we need to wrap the messages, to be honest, because um, we can't. There's an allocation. So the problem is here, basically, uh, I didn't pre-record this, right? This is just right off the bat. I think that's uh, just an interesting. Of course, we don't need to waste a lot of time here. Um, the problem is, look, look at this send function, right? So we basically pipe it to the inbox.
and we could set we could set the context here look at this but the problem is guys listen if I if we do this p context sender equals the sender we got here right from this function it's also gonna be a pit right that's a problem right because this send will be called in go routines and the send will be called in go routines right so that's why this is uh, super safe to use this channel but putting the context sender here is super unsecure right but look at this process here this process will basically uh, call receive on the, on the process that, that doesn't really matter in this case everything inside of this uh, uh, read from this channel is basically safe it's concurrent safe because it's synchronous right it's uh, in sync and we process messages uh, as a single how do you call that csp no not a csp as single producer no multiple producer single consumer that's what i'm talking about damn it so there is for us no way unfortunately there is for us no way to <laughs> wait what you know what we could do ha look what we're gonna do look at this look at this look at this chen Look at this, what I'm gonna do. Look at this big brain place. I'm gonna call this an internal message. I don't think it's already existing. And this internal message will basically hold the... Let's call an envelope. We're gonna all the message. To be honest, we could do message MSG. Uh, MSG is gonna be in any type, and then we're gonna have a sender, which is gonna have a pit, just like that. Boom. So instead of uh, having this uh, this inbox channel, which is the chan any, it's gonna have a chan of envelope. And for the people uh, that basically think, what the hell is an envelope? Well, it's an envelope. It's something you can put stuff inside of it. It's like a tuple. Uh, they, most of the time they call it an envelope because you envelope the message with uh, the message itself and some other garbage, right? Uh, some other hocus pocus and uh, black magic. You know what I mean? And voodoo. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing. So envelope. Right, so of course we're gonna have some problems. Gonna be make me a chain of uh, envelope. To be honest, does that need to be a pointer? No clue. Probably not. All right, so there's gonna be some issues, right? So, um, envelope. Damn, it's gonna be so nasty. Um, it's gonna be so nasty. So this is gonna be the message of this envelope, and then the sender is gonna be nil, right? We don't need this here. Um, that's fine. And then we're gonna switch on the envelope. No, 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 that's not true. Um, Env. Gonna be the env type. No, 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 the env type, it doesn't really matter. So this with sender thing is, is bad, so I'm gonna comment this out. So basically we don't need to switch at all. So we're gonna set the p context uh, sender is going to be the envelope sender, right? And the p context message is going to be the um, env message. Oh, proto and reflect and everything. Look at that. 
like this, right? So that's what's gonna happen. Uh, and then we're gonna call receive on this thing, which is beautiful. Of course, uh, yes, that's fine. So we're gonna make this envelope here. Envelope. Maybe we should make a function for that, like a little uh, constructor uh, thingy. So we're gonna say that the message is gonna be the message and the sender is going to be a sender if one, right? If one, just like that. Uh, can I do a make test? Of course, I think uh, something is gonna bork the local. <sighs> now if we poison, you don't care about this. Let me make build everything to be honest. Uh, okay, the that ladder, that ladder process is uh, working. That's all fine. Where is that ladder? Is this guy? So what we're gonna do is, uh, of course, the dead ladder is also a process process is an interface, and uh, we know that we modified the send method. Uh, that we are basically going to have a sender, uh, which is going to be a bit, of course. And then maybe we could say, look at this. We, we actually look at this. We we already anticipated a sender, but we we hadn't. We are solving multiple problems at once. So a dead ladder event, basically, we're also gonna fix that. We, you see, dead ladder event, sender is going to be a pit. It could be empty, it could be empty, that's fine. It could be nil, but that's that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna say sender, sender. Because some messages are going to be sent from the, the engine itself and some messages are going to be sent from inside of a process and then we have a sender. So there's not always a case we have a sender, right? So that's fine. Let me see if something else uh, is working. <laughs> make, uh, make, make build. Is that, is it make build. Um, a response does not implement. Yes, of course, we have this response, this beautiful response, which also is a process uh that basically handles a request response type it's insane look at the code uh it's it's crazy i think we don't care about this bit to be honest uh make actually to be honest no we don't care about that it's fine make build it's building all the examples from the report that's fine of course now we need to make test and that's uh, basically a very dangerous thing make test because uh, sometimes uh, things are hanging <laughs> Yeah, we are failing already, that's fine. Uh, and sometimes you are hanging and that's a lot of reasons. And we have race conditions also, look at this, beautiful. Uh, but there is a race condition, it's actually no race condition. Look at this process sent here, uh, wait, this thingy. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, look at this, this is what I told you in the beginning, right? If you do this here, it's gonna be bad, right? Of course, get them out of here, right? Um, I just told you and the race, the, the, the race thingy already catched it, right? Very important. Uh, let's make test once again to see what's working. Uh, this one. Yeah, I know. But this is this is a, a normal a normal failure. Like I said, it's a, uh, it's a completely concurrent environment and testing these things, uh, you need to have some sleeps because it's crazy and I, I need to think about a better way to solve it, but uh, it is what it is sometimes. Um, I'm just thinking what, are, what is failing. Again, this one. Yeah, this is not the, the problem with the uh, test with sender, actually, to be honest. Let, let us go, it's something completely different. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how fast something um, came online. And I need to, I'm gonna use the event stream to check uh, and to, to make these tests a little bit better because with these sleeps, it's just nasty. Sometimes it works, sometimes it, it's not. And probably right now, because I'm, I'm recording um, on my whole system, which is also uh, WSL2, it's so slow sometimes, it just, completely working everything so but what we want to test is if uh, test uh, with sender is actually working that's what i want to test real quick um uh, i think i have something test msg race con <laughs> test with sender this one please let, let work okay 
So we are searching the sender. Yes, it's fine. Okay, this is working. That's fine. So let's uh, do our... This font is so huge. What's going on here? Okay, so let's let's benchmark again. So we're gonna benchmark the message locally, right? That's uh, without sender. So we have this no zero allocations uh, and this thingy, and then we're gonna do the send message with sender. Actually, here is this one, and we also have zero allocations. So we fixed it, right? So we completely uh, dumpstered with sender struct this allocation. It's completely gone. We refactored some stuff and now we are faster, right? Because we had 200 N uh, thingies per operation and now we have less and we have zero allocations. It's always good because you need to understand that in, in this uh, actor world, there's going to be a lot of messages being sent, right? And uh, we don't want, we want it as fast as possible. That's, that's, that's the, the main thing. Right, and it could be that I'm basically checking, uh, also testing with a solution to replace channels in GoLang because channels are, they are good, but I want to be fast, so I'm going to make my own channel, my own queue, zero zero lock queue. You will see, uh, but I need to play around with that first. This is fine. It's already super fast, right? It's already faster than Aka, than the Aka framework. It's already <laughs> speedy Bob. Um, yeah. That's fine. I think I need to do some stuff more on the remote, but that's out of scope. Um, this is basically for you to see how you could detect some, some allocation and how you could refactor your, your project uh, in order to work it. I hope uh, this is kind of useful for you and um, looking forward to seeing you in one of my live streams as a subscriber of my channel and of course uh, in my Discord. And don't forget to check out Patreon if you really want to see some next level engineering. Peace.